I swear, the AI space never sleeps. Amazing new projects pop up basically daily at this point. And in this video, I wanna show you some of the amazing, cool new projects that are out right now that take advantage of the latest use cases of AI. Everything from image recognition all the way to audio generation. 2024, in my opinion, is going to be a crazy year for AI. All the projects featured in this video are coming from Hugging Face, which is basically a site where people can host and share their AI models and projects. I'll have links for everything down in the description below. But anyway, let's get on with our first project that I wanna show you guys. So the first one is called Instant ID, and it basically allows you to put in a picture of yourself and then you can turn yourself into whatever you want. It's basically like Dream Booth, but it can all be done for free on Hugging Face. Their demo here is incredible. So I'll just come here and add a picture of myself, and then I'll type in a prompt. I'll say a photo of this person as a cowboy and just click on submit. It'll take a couple seconds for the picture to generate, but you can come down here to the bottom here and click on some different styles. Or if you wanna play around with some of the filters here, you can do so. And here we go, we have a picture of me as a cowboy in the style of spring festival. What if I choose something like Mars and click on submit? Let's see what we get. So here's me as a cowboy, but on Mars. That is interesting. I don't know what's going on with my hair right there, but that is something. But if you come down here to the bottom, they also have some examples we can choose from. I'll pick this one of Sam Altman and a girl dancing outside. It uploads this pose option here, which allows us to put Sam on this person's pose while also feeding it in a prompt. Oh my God, for a second there, it didn't look that bad. But now this, this is scary. What is happening here? Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. So this is a better picture of Sam Altman doing that pose like that. Kind of has like a little bit of an animation style filter over it. Let's try putting in my face, for instance, in this picture. And then I'll also change this from jungle to vibrant color. And let's see what we get. Oh my God. God, what is happening here? Definitely a lot of vibrant colors, but my hands, looks like I have like two arms in this. <laughs> I don't know about this one, but it definitely has that vibrant color look from the style template over here. But you get the idea. This one's a lot of fun to play around with. Next, we're gonna check out AI Comic Factory. And this one is exactly what it sounds like. All you have to do is type in a story prompt here and then a style or character prompt. And then you can also pick from the different types of image styles you wanna create. And also if you wanna pick different grids. I'll go with the grid one. You can also enter in if you want captions or not. I'll leave the captions off for now, but I'll say this for the story prompt. This is gonna be an interesting one. I'm gonna say a man goes into a donut shop and ends up stealing all the donuts. And then for the character, a large man in a small car. And let's just see what it gives us. Okay, we have our comic. Took about like a minute or so to generate. We have our man here who looks like he's uh, going into a donut shop and maybe he's in the donut shop. And then here he is going into the donut shop kind of, and then leaving with the donuts to his car. Something like that. I don't know. This is an interesting one. But if we don't like our images, we can just click on here and then either edit the prompt, which this is the prompt that it gives to generate the image, or we could just have it redraw with the same prompt. So I'm gonna have it redraw a couple of these because I don't think they make that much sense. Maybe we can get kind of a little bit better of a story here. So a man walks into the donut shop. It's kind of scary looking. Let's have it redraw this one. Oh my God, what, what are we generating here? I don't know what's happening here. What if you picked like flying saucer? All right, so it's ending up being a little bit of a different style here. It looks like more of like an old, cartoony style. So you kind of have like the retro style in here. Yeah, same with these ones. Looks a lot more like old school comics, like from a newspaper or something. Yeah, the story doesn't really make too much sense, but I mean, hey, at least it's kind of congruent. This man has like a similar of a same suit in all the pictures, at least for these ones. So, you know, this is generation one of the AI comic factory. I'm sure it's only gonna get better from here. Next project I wanna show you guys is called Moon Dream. And what this basically does is it allows you to ask questions about whatever you're looking at inside of an image. I'm gonna put a new image here of, let's say this guy giving a presentation and say, what is this? And almost instantly, it gives us a little description about what's ever happening in here. The image features a man standing on stage, giving a speech, wearing glasses, holding a cell phone, which not really a cell phone, but close. And this is a great project to check out if you want to implement something like this into your own projects. I kind of did that with my XQC generator where I had it take pictures and then look at those pictures and describe them. There's lots of cool stuff that we can do with this. And I thought it was worth mentioning in this video. This next one I want to show you is called Live Vision and it's based off Moondream, but it works with your webcam. If I click on turn on webcam, it should 
should detect my webcam in the middle of my screen here. Yeah, okay, so I have another webcam right in the middle of my screen. So you can type in a prompt here, which will be the prompt on what it asks whenever it like takes a screenshot of the video camera that it's looking at. So I'll just click on start live vision and then I'll just kind of hang here and then see a man is taking a picture of himself in a mirror using a cell phone with the TV in the background, it's kind of a computer, but yeah, you can see it's kind of real time taking the video feed, using those pictures, and then kind of describing what's happening in the video. Put up some fingers here, wearing a red coat and a beard. Come on, making a peace sign with his fingers. But if I do like this, I hold my hand out, it's kind of white. Fingers are in a V shape, sure. What about this? What if I put a cup cup in front of it? He's mentioning the TV in the background. Okay, a blue glass, look at that. All right, that's pretty fun. So I tell me a joke about what is happening. Turn on my webcam, I'll click on change instructions, and then I'll start the live vision. And look at that. So like it picks out things in the video feed, and then turns it into like mini questions and jokes. Why couldn't the blue cup see? Cause it was too tall. Sure, they're not that great, but you get the idea. This is a lot of fun to play around with and a really cool implementation of Moondream. If you want an alternative to Moondream, there's another one that I want to show you called MOE Lava. Once again, it kind of does something similar to Moondream, but it also has a GitHub repository here, which you can install and test out for yourself. What I'll do is I'll just select from one of the ones it's given here and it asks what color is the train and click on send. The train is red. But what I think the craziest part about all this is, is this used to be a paid feature for something like on OpenAI, but now you can just do this all open source with publicly available tools. Next up, we have replace anything. And this is exactly what it says it is. Replace anything as you want. And we'll go through some of the examples here on what you can kind of get it to do. But you can see here, it's perfect for product placements or even changing out backgrounds or even adding things like in this one, it turns Elon into a chef, very exciting. We come here to the image create and I'll pick an input image. I'll use this example picture, which looks like some kind of deodorant chapstick looking thing. And then to select the part of the image that you want to keep in the picture, we can click on foreground right here. And I'm gonna drag over our little bottle here and that should kind of segment out what we want to keep in our picture. I'll keep it on foreground, keep it on water splash and then click on run. And then it should, in theory, give us a new background. Look at that, isn't that something? So it didn't actually get the top of the thing, which is a little bit weird, but you can see it kept in the bottom here and then added some splash water background around it. So yeah, this is really sweet for making product placement pictures, I'm not gonna lie. It even gives a couple different options here, kind of like this one with like the little background here, it's kind of fun. The next one we have is image to sound effect. And this one, once again, exactly what it sounds like. You put in an image, and then click on your audio model of choice. For this, I have a picture of a waterfall and then you click on submit and then it will generate a, hopefully it'll generate some audio based off what it sees in the image. And if you've been kind of noticing a theme with these AI image models, it's really about taking one form of media and then using different steps to transfer into different types of media. So for this case, what this does is it actually takes this image, uses one of those image recognition softwares from earlier where it takes the image and then displays what it sees in the image and then uses that as a prompt to then prompt the audio models to then turn that into some audio. So after about a minute, we get some audio down here. And it sounds like a waterfall. Not great, but you get the idea. We'll try it with a different one. I have this picture of a dog here and let's give this an old submit. Okay, it's not great, but I can definitely hear some dogs barking. And you gotta keep in mind, this is the worst this technology will ever be. Let's move on to the next one. Another one that I've been loving is called YOLO World. And this one is a real-time open vocabulary object detector. And what that means is basically everything you put in here, it will detect images in your image that fit these comma separated values here. And it'll all make sense once I upload an image. If I drop in this image here of like an office setting and then click on submit, it will detect all of the objects it sees in this image. Like you can kind of see here, it says laptop, 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 potted plant, potted plant, potted plant, couch, some more plants, chairs, chair, chair, looks like a table. You can add and take out objects in here as you wish. What if we use this picture of a dog again? What will it find? Dog. You even see it gives like a confidence score there, 90%. I'll put this picture of a car on the road. Let's see what it detects in this. So it got the car and then looks like the sign 
sign. I can't really see what it detected it as though. But you get the idea. What's really cool about this too, is you can also save and deploy the model. I haven't really tested this out yet, but based off what you put in here, you can deploy this and then run your own ONNX models. Definitely something to check out if you wanna do more with image detection. Next, we have another fun one called Image to Music. And this, once again, as it sounds, we're gonna drop in an image, this guy in the rain here. So you can see, here's the prompt, a dramatic symphony with sweeping string melodies and crashing timpani rolls, building in intensity as the storm approaches, evoking the raw power of nature. That's a hell of a prompt right there. And you can listen to what it gave us. Wow, that is something. Let's try this picture of a landscape. Okay, not bad, that's honestly not bad. But yeah, a lot of fun to play around with. Next one I wanna test out is called Parakeet. This is just a localized version of a speech to text model. So what I'll do is just put in some audio here. I am recording a YouTube video about Parakeet and this should hopefully transcribe the audio. Click on stop, we have our recording in here. Click on submit. And then I am recording a YouTube video about Parakeet and this should hopefully transcribe the audio. For my testing, I found this to be pretty accurate, even with like me mumbling and all the other kind of nonsense I usually say. So I'm really impressed by this model here. Now, the next one is a fun one that I wanna show you guys and it's called Depth Anything with Transformers. You All you have to do is just come into here. I'll select an image like the DAW we've been using and it will analyze the image and then kind of create a 3D map of the image. You can see here we have this slider here which allows us to move in and out on the image. Kind of gives like a parallax effect in a way. See, it brings out the landscape here and keeps the background of the sky, which I think is really sweet. It's not perfect, but it's fun to play around with. We have this like bookshelf of rocks or potatoes or something. You can kind of see they move in and out as you zoom in with them. You can see they kind of move in and out inside of the bookshelf or whatever kind of shelf this is. I've got this picture of cheese here. It really gives the cheese some depth. I'm having way too much fun with this. Let's try some actual books though. It really did get the perspective in here around the books. It's not perfect, but it's not bad, you know? For just some simple AI, I mean, it's kind of fun to play around with. So that's gonna do it for this video. I have a link down in the description below so you can check out all of these spaces over on Hugging Face. They are all free to play around with, but be careful because I have run into some GPU issues if you use them too many times. So just be wary of that. But that's gonna be all in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.